welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another Walmart video. You guys seem to really love affordable fashion, so that is what I'm here to give you. If you do like my Walmart videos, please be sure to give this one a thumbs up so that I know. And if you're not already, subscribe down below. I would love to have you be part of my little YouTube family here. You can also follow me over on Instagram for more day-to-day -day life stuff and fashion content. But yeah, as usual, my Walmart videos are always stacked full of stuff because they come out with stuff so often and I pretty much buy it all up, share these videos with you guys, and then we decide together what's cute and what's not cute and I will return what I don't end up liking. So of course you guys know the drill. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite pieces are, what you think I should keep, what you think I should return, and without further ado, let's just get started. So as usual, starting with what I'm wearing. So this is actually a dress and it is from BCBG, which is now at Walmart. This is a beautiful, colorful dress. I love the colors in it. If you guys have watched any of my videos lately, you know I've been very into this like bright Kelly green, which is exactly what the majority of this dress is. And then there is a pretty floral print on top with blues and pinks and just super fun summery colors. I also really like the silhouette of this dress. It's like more fitted across the chest and then it just kind of flows out into a nice mini dress and the sleeves are a little poof sleeve action. It's very comfortable, very lightweight for the hotter months so can't go wrong with a dress like this for really any occasion. Speaking of green, this little two-piece set had my heart. I've been seeing so many bloggers style this on Instagram so I had to pick it up. So here is the top. It's kind of like a linen material but it's a little bit thicker than linen honestly. Um, I was a little bit surprised by the material but it's kind of nice. It's not going to be see-through really I and mean, it is very oversized as you can see. I did get this in my normal size large and it is pretty big so if you want it to be a little bit more fitted or not like super overwhelming I would possibly size down but I loved the green stripes as we talked about. I love that color. Super trendy and it just buttons all the way down of course and then it has these little like bow ties at the wrist as well. I love this top because you can do so much with it. You can of course pair it with the matching shorts. You could pair it with just denim shorts if you don't like a matching set or you could even wear this as a little swimsuit cover up. And here are the matching shorts. They are just the exact same material. They do have an elastic waistband here and functioning pockets which I always love. Now I did size up in these because sometimes shorts can run a little bit small on me or not run a little bit small on me but like be a little bit small on me. I carry a lot of weight in my booty so yeah I just sized up and I probably shouldn't have because these look really oversized as well so definitely just get your normal size or even size down if you're between but I don't know I think I could still possibly make them work or I will exchange them for my normal size. So you might recognize this dress if you watched my last Walmart haul video except it was in a different style it was a little bit more of like a higher neckline style and had a bow around the waist but I really originally wanted this style with the collar at the top but it was sold out for so long. I recently saw that it came back in stock so I had to pick up this style and I think I'm going to return the other one because I just really like this style better. On my body type I like a V neckline rather than something that's like super high and this of course gives me that and it also has a collar and a button down to the waist and then the waist is actually stretchy which you wouldn't expect but that makes it really comfortable. It doesn't look like a stretchy waist. It looks very structured but it is and it's very comfortable and then it just kind of goes into like an A-line style dress at the bottom and it does have sleeves that are kind of consistent with the button up top feel to the dress. I think this just looks really feminine. It kind of looks business casual. So colorful and bright and something that I would pair probably with like white heels or sandals for a kind of dressier luncheon or something like that. Not that I go to luncheons a lot, but if I did, I would wear this. Next, we have a jumpsuit, which I'm so excited about. I can rarely find jumpsuits that I think I would actually like. 
So when I saw this one, I was like, I have to give it a try. And it's from the Sofia Vergara line at Walmart, which has been killing it lately. They have the cutest stuff and they come out with new arrivals often. This is one of them and I loved it. It is just a really tropical, crazy printed jumpsuit. And online, I thought it was gonna be kind of like a chiffon material, but it's actually like a super bouncy, stretchy cotton, which I actually love for summertime. It's almost like that material that's like cool to the touch. So I feel like this is going to be great on vacation. Even if it's really hot outside, you're still going to be not too hot. And of course, the print is very like vacay. And for the neckline, it's kind of like a tube top and then it ties around your neck. Of course, it is a long jumpsuit with flowy wide legs at the bottom. And then it does have elastic around the waist just to kind of cinch you in. And it actually even has a tie to tie like a little bow around your waist as well. It's definitely a statement in itself, so you don't need to add too much, but it is a really fun piece for summertime. I am so excited about this next little matching set. I feel like this looks so high end, but it's literally from Walmart. So it's from Madden NYC, and I did size up and this to a 2XL. It is a juniors brand and I find that it does run a little bit small. So yeah, take that for what it is. You can also look at the measurement and size charts and all of that if you are unsure. Uh, but here is the top. It does look like it's going to be kind of looser, which is exactly what I wanted. It is a crochet white little tank top with fringe on the bottom. I love stuff like this. I've been seeing these little sets all over from lots of different retailers and I think they look so cute even as a swimsuit cover-up or just like as an outfit to take photos on the beach or if you're on a boat something like that even if you're just like at a festival this would be adorable I love the fringe and this is like surprisingly good quality it's really soft stretchy seems like it's going to be like nice and airy of course with the crochet and then here are the matching shorts which the sizing looks great on these I feel like if you wanted a more form-fitted look you could go with your normal size I do not like especially this material to be tight on my butt so I am glad that I sized up this looks like it's going to fit really well the length on these looks like it's going to be really good too and not too short they have a thick waistband here and a drawstring at the center as well and these are completely see-through you guys so it is kind of like a cover-up you're definitely going to want to wear something underneath them I will probably wear it more so as a cover-up than anything but if you wanted to wear a bralette with the top and wear it more as like an outfit rather than a swimsuit cover-up here are a couple of bottoms that you could pair with it. First, we have this adorable utility skirt from Time and True. I think this is so cute. Skirts are so popular right now, and anything utility like the cargo pants and stuff like that is really trendy as well. Um, so this kind of combines those two things. It takes a trend that is like more casual and masculine and makes it into something feminine. This does come in a lot of colors. I just opted for the traditional army green to kind of go with the whole cargo utility vibe but it has like a couple buttons here lots of detail a little pocket over here and this actually does have functioning pockets as well and like I said it's a skirt so you just have this little flap here at the front and then here are what the shorts look like in the back so they do have functioning pockets in the back as well and this is nice and stretchy seems like it's going to be very comfortable and I think skirts are like one of the most flattering things ever it's like the comfortability of shorts but the cuteness of a skirt in the front and you don't have to worry about like your shorts like bunching up in your crotch or anything like that it just kind of covers that so nicely another pair of bottoms you could wear with the crochet tank top are these red shorts these are like a paper bag waist short they are kind of in a linen material they are a vibrant bright red these would be perfect for fourth of july i love the little bow here in the front and you can adjust this so if you wanted to make it tighter you could these also do have pockets the length on them looks really nice these are another pair that i sized up and probably shouldn't have so keep that in mind with scoop it's definitely like true to size you don't need to size up and here is what the back looks like no pockets just pretty much plain okay next we have a pair of pajamas I saw these online and I thought they were so cute I know some people hate stuff like this it has like the little quote and it can be like a little cliche I don't know I'm like that about some stuff but these I thought were actually adorable but the top just says allergic to Mondays it's like a really soft stretchy cotton like these just make me want to go to 
sleep right now. They are so soft. And I liked the font on there too. I feel like the font on shirts like this really makes a difference because if it's like an ugly font, I'm not gonna wear it. But this like looks very aesthetic, so I loved it. And then here are the little shorts. They are just like a light pink and mauve animal print going on. Same exact super soft cotton. Of course, a stretchy waistband. These don't have pockets or anything, which really doesn't bother me in pajamas. But yeah, this little set would be so cute for a girl's trip or any vacations you have coming up. All right, next I have two similar dresses. I need you guys to help me decide which one you like better. I haven't tried any of this on yet, so I might have my mind made up already once I try them on but let me know which one you guys like better the first one is a one shoulder maxi dress they're actually both maxi dresses but I usually do not go for a one shoulder piece but we'll see if I like it. It's in a really pretty orange color. Orange is another color I've been dying over aside from green. So this entire part up here is all elastic and then the sleeve itself is like a three quarters length sleeve that does also have elastic on the bottom of it as well. You also have elastic here around the waist of the dress and you have a little tie that's only really in the front of the dress which I thought was interesting. I guess just to tie like a little bow or something I'm not sure and then as I said it is a maxi dress but one of the main details of this dress is the color blocking so the bottom tier of the maxi dress is a darker orange color so it's kind of like still a monochromatic look but with color blocking at the same time one thing I love about this dress is the material it is so soft and it's not stiff at all it's just very flowy it's not too thick not too thin Last year, a couple of the scoop dresses, I wasn't a fan of the material. So this year, I was a little nervous ordering these, but I actually really love these fabrics. Oh, and this does have pockets in it as well. So here's the other dress. Once again, it is a maxi dress. We have a totally different silhouette for this one though. So this one is a V-neck up top and it has like this ruching detail here at the shoulders. Then at the waist, you have these little cutouts, which I think are very fun for summertime. And the back of the waist is smocked to provide like a nice custom fit. And then this one is even more of that color blocking style. So here you have, instead of a monochromatic look, you have the pink, orange, and dark orange all in the same dress. So this one is also really flowy, kind of a similar style on the bottom, but just with three different colors and a slightly different design up top. Both are really cute, but let me know which one you prefer. Next, I have a couple pieces in this like terry cloth piping kind of line from No Boundaries. This kind of design has been very popular with No Boundaries. They keep coming out with new stuff. You guys probably saw in my last Walmart video I had a similar pair of like green shorts with the white piping around the seams. I also had a green terry cloth skirt with the white piping. A very tennis like sporty style skirt and now they recently came out with a couple more things and you know I had to pick them up and try them out. So first up is a dress. Definitely not something that I would wear just anywhere but maybe traveling or running errands or for like a a sporty event even like walking or something I don't know whatever but I picked this up in a lilac color which I think is gorgeous this color is just so beautiful as I mentioned it is in a terry cloth material in the back it kind of crisscrosses and has this little silver hoop here in the center and it's just a straight cut dress but I think this would look cute with like some socks and Nike Air Force Ones or high rise Converse something like that so I'm gonna play around with this and see what outfits I I come up with but I'm hoping it's cute because it looks cute hanging but I'm just not sure how it'll look on and then the other similar piece they came out with is a two-piece set and I've seen a couple people in this and honestly I'm not sure how I feel about it I love the shorts I'm not sure about the top here's what the top looks like it's basically kind of like a sports bra it does have removable bra pads in here which I do wish they would have sewn these in or something because they do move around a lot but you know, whatever. I honestly would probably just take them out myself. My thing with this is I wish it was a little bit longer because I'm not gonna wear this as a sports bra. And I think maybe if you were like, 
younger or like you like really short crop tops maybe you'll like this even though I think it's like a little bulky to be a little tiny crop top that's like popular right now so for me I wish this was a little bit longer because I think it would go with the shorts a little bit better I don't know let me know what you guys think no boundaries is one of their other juniors brands so I do size up to a 2xl in this brand as well which usually fits me pretty good and if I remember I will leave my measurements in the description if I don't remind me. And then here are the shorts, which like I said, the shorts look like I'm really going to love them. The other pair of shorts similar to this that they came out with were in a cotton instead of terry cloth. So I actually like these a lot. I'm going to keep this set probably just for the shorts because I think these are cute. These could even be a swimsuit cover up if you throw them on with like a white bikini or white one piece, something like that would be really adorable. And they're basically waterproof because they are towel material. These kind of look a little bit oversized, which I like. I like a little flowy short action. But yeah, you guys will have to let me know your thoughts on this little two-piece set. I feel like you either love it or you hate it. A couple tropical printed dresses. If you are into tropical Hawaiian type prints, especially if you go on vacation, these are for you. This one is by Madden NYC. I think this is so cute. It looks very boutique instead of Walmart, which is always good. It is a halter dress here at the top. So it just ties around your neck. And then the waistband here is elastic, which I love kind of just cinches you in and fits really any waist size. And then the bottom is just a flowy skirt and it is tiered. So it has like one layer here and then a longer layer. And it of course just has the palm print all over it. I love a good palm print on a black dress or shirt or whatever. I think it pops so much more and it just looks very like resort to me rather than having the palm print on a white background. I don't know about you guys. Let me know how you feel about that. But I just love that look. It looks very expensive to me for some reason. But yeah, I just love this dress. I think it is such a unique find for Walmart. Next, we have another Sofia Vergara piece, and this is so bright and fun for summertime. Easily the brightest piece in this video. This is just a little v-neck halter maxi dress. So it ties around your neck. It has like this little detail across the v-neck line here and then crochet underneath your bust. In the back, it does have a cute little bow and elastic around your waist in the back for added fit. And then it just goes into the most beautiful, flowy, vibrant maxi dress you've ever seen. I think this would be so pretty, all dressed up for dinner on vacation, maybe some white heels, a little straw bag. You could even, I don't know, throw a hat on. I usually don't do a hat for dinner, but if you wanted to, you could. This is just very resort and vacation to me. So if you have something like that coming up, this is a must have. So I want to talk about a new athletic line from Walmart. At least I think it's new. It, I've never heard of it or seen it there, but it's called Athlux. And this stuff looks really cute. So definitely check them out if you like trendy athleisure wear. So here is the little set that I got. And whenever I say set, they're all sold separately. So if you want one or the other, you could totally do that. So here is the top. This is a thick kind of like sweatshirt material, but it looks like a t-shirt. So it's really nice quality. I mean, it's very thick material. Um, it's not like super, it's not like fleece on the inside though. So I still think it's going to be good for summertime, but I just point out that it's thick because it's very good quality. I was shocked when I received this. It just doesn't seem like it's from Walmart. It seems like it's from like Nike or something. So I opted for the orange. I love orange, like I mentioned, and this is nice and stretchy and a little bit oversized. It does have the Athlux logo on the back of the top. And then here are the shorts, which totally drew me in. I love the little logo in the center of the waistband there. It, it kind of reminds me of boxing shorts, which I've been seeing a ton of retailers take inspiration from boxing shorts and kind of do a thick waistband with a logo there. And I love that look. I think it's it's really fun and unique. So I totally had to have these. They do have pockets. They're just nice and soft. Same material, like I said, really thick. 
but not too crazy on the inside. A couple other pieces from them. This is just a little white tank top, a good workout piece. I love to have new workout tops in basic colors like white or black to match all of my fun leggings. You could even pair this with the orange shorts if you wanted to. But yeah, it's just a basic with a little twist there, literally a twist here at the bottom. And it's just kind of like a muscle tee style. Once again, very good quality. I mean, this feels super high end. And then this is the only piece I'm a little unsure about. This is a skirt. It's like one of those tennis or golf skirts that seem to be very popular right now on Instagram. Like I said, I haven't tried this on, so we'll have to see what I think once I put it on. But I don't know, it just kind of looks like a weird shape. But it's supposed to be a high-waisted skirt. It does have spandex underneath. And I've seen skirts like this styled in a lot of really cute ways. So you could just pair it with like a little crop top and tennis shoes to take a photo. Or if you actually do tennis or golf, this would be cute as well. Or even on like your hot girl walks, this would be a really cute little outfit for that. Okay, lastly for athletics, we have a little matching athletic set from Sofia Vergara. In my last Walmart haul video, I got a sports bra and bike short set from her and I was so impressed with it. So I had to go back and try something else from that line. So I picked up this little sports bra. This seems like it's going to be a perfect sports bra for me. It seems like it's a little bit more high impact. I have a size 38D chest. I got an XL and I think this is going to be really nice. It has removable bra pads, but I like that it has like two kind of layers here. You have the traditional like racer back kind of design here and then also kind of like a, an additional sports bra over top. So it just seems like it's going to be extra supportive. And then the design and pattern on this is so fun. I love anything like bright and colorful for my workout sets. Here's what it looks like in the back. Once again, the racer back and then you have these straps that are adjustable if you need to. Here are the matching leggings. These are high-waisted. It says they are moisture wicking and they have a 25 inch seam. So these look like they don't fit very well but that's how the bike shorts looked as well and then when I put them on they really like just kind of conform to my body and they have this little fun design around the ankle. So yeah really fun bright summer workout set from the Sofia Vergara line. Okay quickly before I move on to the rest of the clothes I have a couple of shoes and accessories I wanted to mention. First is this bracelet that I'm wearing. This is also from Sofia Vergara. It's actually one bracelet. It's kind of like a wrap bracelet but I love this. It looks so much more expensive than it is. I like the little rhinestone here in the center and it is a little bit stretchy so I had no problem getting it on my wrist and I think it's just adorable. Such a good stacking bracelet. I also picked up these shoes from Sam and Libby. You guys know how much I love gold anything, gold accessories, gold home decor, gold shoes. So I fell in love with these and I had to have them. I also love the shape of these. They're not too high. I don't love wearing high heels so these are like right up my alley. They have like a thick chunky short heel and then they do have have these straps that you can wrap around your ankle for a fun strappy look and then of course the little toe here has the little bow detail and it's all in this like beautiful gold sort of like ribbon material gorgeous shoes. I feel like I'm going to get so much wear out of these because of how much I wear gold. So these are from Madden Girl and they are similar to the pair of white chunky sneakers I showed in my last Walmart haul but I actually sent those back because they were a low top shoe with a chunky sole and I didn't love the way that they looked but I saw these and I think that I'm gonna actually like these better because they are a high top. These remind me kind of like high top converse except with that chunky like lug sole. I think these are just so trendy. You could pair this with so many things. I wear white sneakers seriously multiple times a week during the summertime or really not just during the summertime literally year round but I like to switch up my white sneakers and these are going to be a fun way to do that in the summertime I pair sneakers with dresses a lot so I'm imagining these with like a sundress and like a really oversized denim jacket or something to make it very casual but yeah super cute you could even get creative with these and like paint them and stuff or you can just wear them plain like I will last little accessory is a pair of sunglasses from Sofia Vergara. I wanted to mention 
the case. Is this not the cutest case? A lot of affordable sunglasses don't come with an actually cute case. So I was shocked when I came in this leopard case. That is so cool. And you just like open it like that. So that's already a win. And these are just plain gold sunglasses, but they have a cat eye shape to them. I'm wondering if these are like a little small for my face. Let me know. I'm like always self-conscious that sunglasses are like too small for my face. I actually had a pair of these from Key or Diff sunglasses and I wore them so much that they basically <laughs> disintegrated. So that's why I purchased these in hopes that they would be similar and they really are So if you guys think these look okay on me I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of these because it's just easy to throw on a pair of gold sunglasses I feel like they go with any swimsuit any outfit Okay, this is gonna be the longest video ever But I wanted to mention these two things because I think you guys are going to freaking love these also from Sofia Verara This is the Sofia Intimates line I picked up this high-waist seamless smoothing thong, which I haven't worn yet, but I have a couple of these from the Spanx brand and someone else, but this is like my favorite type of Spanx because I don't want a ton of like control or suction. I just want like a little bit of something to smooth like that little lower belly area, and this is the perfect way to do that, and I like a thong typically but they also have a brief version, which I will link as well if you're not into the thong. But here is what it looks like. Just a nice, like, kind of, you know, more fitted waist up here that's, like, smoothing. And then these are even cute on the actual underwear part because they have a little leopard design. And then here is what they look like in the back. Like I said, just a thong. But yeah, if I could wear underwear like this every day, I would. So I'm kind of, like, stocking up, getting more and more as I go because they look good with jeans, skirts, anything. It just makes you feel like a little bit more secure. And then I also got another one of her shapewear pieces. This is a bodysuit, very similar to the underwear I showed you guys. This has like that pretty leopard design at the on the chest area. And then the entire bodice is a shapewear material. So it's like stretchy and structured. So it's really just going to suck you in and smooth you out. And then the bottom is of course just underwear. And I did get this one in a thong style as well. I love a good shapewear body suit. These are great to wear under anything. Like if you have like a tighter shirt and high-waisted jeans and you don't want any like back fat or like little rolls showing because of your bra and the high-waisted jeans, then these are good to just like smooth everything out. So yeah, I was stoked about these. So definitely check them out. Okay, back to the rest of the clothes. We have another jumpsuit. This one is from No Boundaries. Another jumpsuit that I'm so excited about. This one is in a beautiful sage green and it actually has like like an Aztec kind of print or design to it, which is just different. I feel like in summertime, you see so many florals that you kind of get sick of them. So if you're not into florals, this one is great for you. The entire bodice up at the top is a smocked material, but then you have this little thing that kind of ties in the center there. And then in the back, you have the smocked material, but then you have like an open space on the back as well. So here's the stretchy elastic around your waist and you will have just a slight opening. I'm not too big on spaghetti straps, so I will probably try to pair this with like a white denim jacket or something and maybe in the evening when it's a little bit chillier, but either way, I think this is so cute. Once again, just like wider legs, of course, at the bottom. This would be cute with sandals, booties, wedges, whatever you want to do. Such a comfortable and cute piece. So next we have a little midi dress. This one is a super neutral, the most like basic neutral thing in this video. But this one is just like a little poof sleeve. You have buttons down the entire dress and it is just like a little tighter on the bust and then it goes down into a tiered maxi dress. Like I said, just super basic, all one color. Not much to say about it, but it is a very flattering dress and something that's just easy to throw on with neutral accessories. You could dress it up with gold and you're good to go. So if you're more of like a basic girly, loves the neutrals, then this one is for you. 
So I somehow have two more pairs of pajamas. I could not decide between the three. I'm probably gonna send at least one pair back. So let me know which ones are your favorites. But this one is just a neutral animal print pajama set. This looks so high-end to me. This literally looks like something you would buy at Nordstrom. Even cuter than the ones at Nordstrom, honestly. Once again, such a soft and stretchy material. It's kind of like a mix of like zebra and leopard too, which I loved. And it's like a muted pink. Like you can almost barely see the design. I mean, you can see it, but it's like muted. It's not super in your face, which I loved. It's a button up top, short sleeve. And then here are the shorts, exact same as the previous pair I showed you guys. And I feel like this pair and the Allergic to Mondays pair are very similar. So let me know which one you like better. But I love both of them, honestly, so I really don't know. Um, it might depend on the fit of them. But yeah, same thing, just stretchy, flowy, soft pajama shorts. And then this next pair is from Sofia Vergara. And I like these. These are definitely like super bold and your face crazy. And I feel like these are not gonna be everyone's cup of tea and that's fine. I went back and forth a long time of if I liked them or if I hated them, but I decided I think I like them. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. But these were on clearance, so that kind of impacted my decision to buy them. But yeah, it just has the short sleeve top here. These are so soft and like extremely stretchy. They're that material I was talking about earlier that's kind of like cool to the touch. Very thin cotton. And these have like a zebra print throughout with the leopard thrown in at certain points as well, like on the collar and the pocket. So I did size up in these, but they look pretty oversized. Um, I love like a good oversized pair of pajamas, but if you don't, then get your normal size. And then these actually come with long pants here. They do sell this in a short sleeve and shorts version or a long sleeve, long pants version. So there's a lot of different options. This is just what was on clearance, so that's what I got. One thing that's cool about these is that they do have pockets, unlike the other two pairs of pajamas. And then they do have that same leopard band at the ankle of the pants. So once again, something like this would be adorable on vacation for a girl's trip, somewhere where you want like actually cute pajamas, or if you just wanna wear them at your house and have a main character moment like I do sometimes, then a matching pajama set is absolutely necessary. Next, we have a newer swimsuit from Time and True. This looks so high-end, you guys. I was shook when I saw this on the website. I love the pattern and this rust color. I think that's adorable. I love the scoop v-neck here. And what makes it look so high-end to me is the little belt that it comes with. So it has this little belt and it ha looks like a wooden little circle here in the center. So adorable and I love that look. It just kind of cinches your waist in and makes you look so snatched. And here's what the back looks like. It looks like it's gonna be pretty full coverage, which is nice, and it does go all the way up the back. So a very appropriate swimsuit, but something that's still really cute. This is like a ribbed bodysuit halter kind of neckline, just a basic. I felt like I would wear this with shorts or high-waisted jeans, lots of different stuff in the summertime, and it's in like that really trendy brown color. But I did get this in an XL and I shouldn't have. I don't know why I do that. I just get nervous that things are gonna be too small and I size up, but I shouldn't have because um, it looks a little bit too big, especially in the arm area. And then down here at the hips, I feel like it goes a little bit too low. So I thought that was kind of odd, but we'll see. It looks like it's gonna just be too tall for me. It is a thong bodysuit and it does have snap closures, so that's nice. So this is a little maxi dress from No Boundaries. I think this could be cute or it could look like I don't know, Nickelodeon or something. But it's just a tube style dress with a little tie around the neck. It does have cutouts here right under the boob area and elastic on the back. And yeah, it's just a super flowy maxi dress, goes all the way down to your ankles. And once again, it is in this green that I like, but I'm just not sure if this is gonna look like super cheap on or super cute. So we'll see. Let me know what you guys think of it. Next, we have this two-piece set from Secret Treasures. They are selling these little bike short sets together. And a lot of them I thought were like not that cute, but this one I was like, I don't know, maybe it's cute. So it's just a black sweatshirt that says weekend mode. 
And I did really like the font of this. It's even like textured, like it's literally like sewn onto the sweatshirt. So I thought that was cool. And this is a nice and oversized sweatshirt. I love a good black sweatshirt. It's just, you know, flattering. Black is just like an easy color to throw on. And then I came with the zebra bike shorts, which are the main part that I'm not so sure about. These look a little like long for me. I don't know. They're really, really high waisted. I mean, the crotch is like down here and then they go all the way up there. So we'll see about these. They also seem pretty thin. So I feel like they're gonna be like moving around a lot where I'm gonna have to like pull them up. And I'm just not sure how I feel about the zebra. Is it like, it reminds me of like eighth grade a little bit. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think about this. And lastly, we have these butterfly shorts. I love butterflies. It's so trendy lately and I think they're adorable. So I got these and I thought they would be really cute, but I don't like the material of them. They're really, really thick and stiff. I mean, you can kind of even see in the video, like they don't really like move. And I just, they're really thick and fleecy. I think these are gonna be my worst nightmare. I get hot really easily. So I think these are gonna go back for sure. They have a really thick waistband. I like the color and the butterflies on them. They do have pockets, but unfortunately, the material is just not doing it for me. All right, you guys, after the longest Walmart haul ever, probably, I am finally done, and that is everything that I had to share with you guys. So let me know if you like these long Walmart videos, or do you want me to start splitting them up, do half and half? I don't want things to like sell out super fast on you guys though, so that's kind of why I cram everything all into one long video. But let me know what you think and leave your favorite outfit in the comment section down below. While you're down there, if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up so that I know. I'm always trying to get my channel out there to new faces, so if you have anyone that you think would like this video, be sure to share it with them. Subscribe if you're not already and follow me over on Instagram for even more content. But yeah, I think that is all the plugs that I have for you today. I appreciate your support more than you know. I love you guys all very, very much. Thank you for always watching my videos and supporting me, and I will talk to you all very soon in my next video. Bye, guys! Mm -hmm.